Hello everybody and welcome to this video. Some of you might be saying your voice sounds rather deep today. It does. <coughs> ah, is that better? That is getting better. That is sounding better. Sounding more normal. Yes. Okay, funny thing here. Are you ready for this? So, I was just looking through my bookcase, okay? And I was looking at books that I had planned on selling. And I was like, uh, like, do I, do I sell Madame Bovary? Am I going to read that anytime soon? And then there was like some D.H. Lawrence. And I'm like, do I keep that? Do I sell it? Like, there's all this shit, and I'm just, like, going through, and I'm just, like, I don't know. And then I fucking see this, and I'm like, get the fuck out of here. So, this is The Rainbow Stories by William T. Volman. It was just fucking sitting there. And it's so funny, because after I read um, Horse for Gloria... I was, like, looking at books that he wrote, and I'm like, ooh, the rainbow stories sound really good. I think I'm going to get that. And I had it the whole time. So that is hysterical. Actually, yeah, let's talk about this now. I remember where I got that book. I got it the same place I got Horrors for Gloria. It was at a thrift store out in the desert in Landers. I went there because they just had somebody in the community with an enormous library, like personal library, die. And he donated all of his books to the thrift store. So it was kind of like this big estate thing. And so behind the thrift store, there was like this auditorium for something else that had nothing to do with the thrift store. But it was, like, connected for some reason. And it was just, like, table after table after table after table after table. Like, big, giant tables that you, like, put wrestlers through um, on each side of an aisleway. Like, full of books. And um, I got this notification, I think on their Facebook group, that they had just received this enormous like dead dude book haul so I saw some of the titles on there I fucking hauled ass down there and I remember it was something like like five dollars for a brown paper bag full of books like just put however many books you can in there it was weird there was this thing in me that was so excited but at the same time I didn't want to take all the good stuff because I felt like, like somebody should discover all of this stuff. Like, I shouldn't just be taking this. So I got these Volman books. I got a Raymond Chandler biography, a Jim Thompson biography, some David Goodis, some other Jim Thompson stuff, Raymond Carver. What else did I get? Oh, um, Polinick and um, Irving Welsh. And it's like, I got all this stuff, and, like, I had never read Volman, but because it was around a bunch of authors that I like, and I knew all these books came from some dead dude who liked all of this stuff, it made me trust his judgment more to pick up the Volman. And shocker, I really liked the Volman. And so it's like, I don't know. It was just like, it was such a me, like, book haul, you know? Like, and it makes me, like, go, fuck, dude. I don't know if I would have enjoyed this motherfucker's company, but he had some fucking good taste in books. It's sad that I can't fucking talk to this motherfucker, you know? <sighs> I don't know. It's just, it's a, it's a weird fucking thing to think about. 
the people who leave us their books. And then it goes back to us. Like, who are we leaving our books to? Like, do you know who you're leaving your books to? If a plane were to crash on your fucking face right now and you were to fucking die, who would take your books? And do you think they would appreciate your books? Have you thought this through? Who gets your books, dude? Such a fucking conundrum here. Anyway, who gets your books? Let me know down below. Um, and have you ever um, rifled through a dead guy's library and taken a bunch of good shit? Los Angeles, pick it up. It's at my Etsy shop. Links down below. Um, you could pick up my ebooks and my paperbacks at my Amazon page, also listed down below. And um, yeah, that's it. Keep buying my books, type hard, and I will talk to you guys later. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Creo and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys, and thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the Creo or the Anarchy Creo, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.